Hi, I'm Wayne here at the Exploring Science Center, and today's story time is Yertle the Turtle by Dr. Seuss. On the faraway island of Salamasan, Yertle the Turtle was king of the pond. A nice little pond, it was clean, it was neat, the water was warm, there was plenty to eat. The turtles had everything turtles might need, and they were all happy, quite happy indeed. They were until Yertle, the king of them all, decided the kingdom he ruled was too small. I'm ruler, said Yertle, of all that I see, but I don't see enough. That's the trouble with me. With this stone for a throne, I look down on my pond, but I cannot look down on the places beyond. This throne I sit on is too, too low down. It ought to be higher, he said with a frown. If I could sit high, how much greater I'd be. What a king, I'd be ruler of all that I see. So Yertle the Turtle King lifted his hand, and Yertle the Turtle King gave a command. He ordered nine turtles to swim to his stone, and using these turtles he built a new throne. He made each turtle stand on one another's back. He piled them up in a nine turtle stack. And then Yertle climbed up, he sat down on the pile. What a wonderful view, he could see almost a mile. All mine, Yertle cried. Oh, the things I now rule. I'm king of a cow. I'm king of a mule. I'm king of a house, and what's more beyond that, I'm king of a blueberry bush and a cat. I'm Yertle the turtle, oh marvelous me, for I am ruler of all that I see. And all that morning he sat upon high, saying over and over, a great king am I, until long about noon he heard a faint sigh. What's that? snapped the king, and he looked down the stack. He saw at the bottom a turtle named Mac just a part of his throne, and this plain little turtle looked up and he said, I beg your pardon, King Yertle, I have pains in my back and my knees and my shoulders. How much longer must we stand here, your majesty? Silence! The king of the turtles barked down. I'm king and you're only a turtle named Mac. You stay in your place while I sit here and rule. I'm king of a cow, I'm king of a mule, I'm king of a house and a bush and a cat. But that isn't all. I'll do better than that. My throne shall be higher, his royal voice thundered. So pile up more turtles. I want about 200. Turtles, more turtles, he bellowed and brayed. And the turtles way down in the pond were afraid. They trembled, they shook, but they came, they obeyed. From all over the pond, they came swimming by dozens. Whole families of turtles with uncles and cousins. And all of them stepped on the head of poor Matt. One after another, they climbed up the stack. Then Yertle the turtle was perched up so high he could see 40 miles from his throne in the sky. Hooray, shouted Yertle, I'm king of the trees, I'm king of the birds, and I'm king of the bees. I'm king of the butterflies, king of the air. Ah me, what a throne, what a wonderful chair. I'm Yertle the turtle, oh marvelous me, for I am ruler of all that I see. Then again from below in the great heavy stack came a groan from that plain little turtle named Mac. Your majesty, please, I don't like to complain. But down here below, we are feeling great pain. I know up on top you're seeing great sights, but down at the bottom, we too should have rights. We turtles can't stand it. Our shells will all crack. Besides, we need food. We're starving, groaned Mac. You hush your mouth, howled the mighty King Yertle. You have no right to talk to the world's highest turtle. I rule from the clouds over land, over sea. There's nothing, no nothing that's higher than me. But while he was shouting, he saw with surprise that the moon of the evening was starting to rise up over his head in the darkening skies. What's that? snorted Yertle. Say, what is that thing that dares to be higher than Yertle the king? I shall not allow it. I'll go higher school. Still, I will build my throne higher. I can and I will. I'll call some more turtles. I'll stack them to heaven. I need about 5,607. But as Yertle the Turtle King lifted his hand and started to order and give the command, that a plain little turtle below in the stack, that plain little turtle whose name was just Mac, decided he had enough, and he had. And that plain little lad got a little bit mad, and that plain little Mac did a plain little thing. He burped, and his burp shook the throne of the king. And Yertle the turtle, the king of the trees, the king of the air and the birds and the bees, the king of the house and the cow and the mule. Well, that was the end of King Yertle's rule. For Yertle the turtle, uh, king of Salamasan, fell off his throne and fell plunk in the pond. And today that great turtle, that marvelous he, is king of the mud, and that's all that he sees. 
And the turtles, of course, all turtles are free, as turtles and maybe all creatures should be. I hope you enjoyed this story. I wanted to read it today because Alabama is a special place. Uh, we have more species of turtles than anywhere else in the world, and a lot of those turtles call the Mobile Delta region home. Now, what's that I see? You guys, it's my friend Charisse and our little coworker Magdalena. Charisse? Would you tell us a little bit more about Magdalena? I will. So, you just talked about animals that are native to Alabama. Magdalena is one of them. She is an eastern box turtle, which means that this little hinge down here on her platform can fold up so it can close like a box. Is that weird? That's okay. Now, Magdalena really likes Mr. Wayne, so she's trying to summon say hello. Hey. <laughs> And anybody who's been a homeschool kid or a summer camp kid knows Magdalena very well. Now, Magdalena has this beautiful shell. You see it? What do you think this shell is made of? Is it made of wood? Is it made of cement? What if I was to tell you it's made of bone and the stuff your fingernails are made of? So how does it get bigger? Well, when she's trying to grow it, these little colorful bits right here, called scoots, pop off. And then she has a brand new shell. Is that neat? I think it is, it's pretty cool. Now the bone part though, where does that come from? She's got this little C looking spot right here. That's her backbone. So when I touch her like this, I'm rubbing her back. Can you feel it when someone rubs your back? Do you think she can feel it when someone touches her back? Yes, so we want to make sure we never do this because she can feel that. That'd be like someone going oh, 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 on your back. That's never fun. Now Magdalena is kind of fast, but not as fast as some other turtles. She's definitely not as fast or as mean as Yertle the turtle. Do you guys know any turtles? Do they have names? You should put the names in the doobly-doo so we can talk about them. In the meantime, we're going to let Magdalena go for a walk. Bye! Bye, you guys. See you next week with another story time and some more exciting science. Perfect.